Hi, my name is Billy Hoya. I'm one of the librarians here at Lone Star North Harris Library. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to take physical objects like this and turn them into digital objects like this. Welcome to Maker Wednesday. For this project, you're gonna need a few things. First off, you're gonna need an object to scan. When you're choosing your object, it can be anything. So you can do a little figurine like the statue I have here, or you can do a big statue in the park. A few things to, to remember when you're choosing your, uh, what you're going to scan. Uh, things with transparent parts, so think like clear glass, clear plastic, those don't scan very well. Things with moving parts, so if you think about like trees, uh, the branches sway in the wind, or even small plants, other things like that, um, they won't scan any very well. So make sure you pick something that uh, isn't see-through and uh, is uh, fairly rigid. The next thing that you're going to need is a camera. Now, if you're doing a big uh, statue in the park, you may want to use a, a professional camera with a, lens, a big lens or something like that so that you can zoom in if you can't get really close to the statue. But for most things, uh, like this figurine and for even uh, if you're doing a statue in the park, um, just a regular uh, camera phone, the, the camera that's on your phone, uh, will usually do the trick. Uh, for this project, I'm actually going to be using my little Samsung A20 here. It's got a little uh, two lens uh, camera on it. And so that's what I'm going to be using uh, for this project. And finally, you'll need a computer with an NVIDIA video card. Um, you can find uh, NVIDIA video cards in uh, many different gaming laptops, some mid and high-end uh, computers. Um, if you don't know whether your computer has an NVIDIA video card, we have instructions on uh, our lip guide to tell you how to uh, look in Windows 10 and find out what kind of video card you're using. Now, let's take some pictures of our object. You're going to want to take pictures all the way around your object, the top, the sides, all of it. The more pictures you take, the more high quality object you'll get in the end. Now let's copy all those pictures that we took onto our computer. And now let's import them into Meshroom. So I've got Meshroom going here. If you look here on the left, this is where we're gonna drop the images. If you wanna view each one of these images, you can use the little image viewer here in the middle. And then on the end here, you'll see 3D Viewer. This is where it'll actually show you uh, camera position and the textures as it uh, creates them. So let's go on. I'm just gonna uh, minimize this just a little bit here. And then I'm gonna open up this uh, file where I had all the images. I'm gonna go on and say all, and then I'm gonna drag them right in there. And you'll see here, it's gonna give you a little dialog box. And there's all the images. And you can go through and you can view each one of these as, as if you want to. Let's go on and hit the start button up here on the top. Um, and then it's gonna go on. Uh, it's, if you haven't saved it yet, it'll ask you if you wanna save project. Let's go on and uh, save it. And I'm just going to save it back to that statue uh, folder that I created there. So I'm going to go on and hit save. And after you do that, you'll have to hit start again. Now, even on fast computers, this is going to take a little while. So I'm going to go have some tea. Maybe uh, <laughs> you might want to go uh, have a walk around the block, play your favorite video game while this is happening. Um, if you've took, if you've taken a lot of pictures, um, you know, if you're doing a big statue uh, outside, you it's easy, you could easily take over a thousand, maybe more pictures. Um, you may want to leave this running overnight. Uh, so, uh, through the magic of technology, we're going to make this go fast. Um, and so, I'll be back with you in just a second. So now the process is completed. We can go over here to uh, the 3D viewer and we can actually
actually uh, zoom in and see our objects. So I'm gonna zoom in here like this. You can see all the little points that it made. Each one of these boxes is where it thinks uh, a camera shot uh, took place. So if you click on one of these, it'll actually uh, highlight the image it came from. And you can rotate through here and you can kind of see. If you see uh, a portion that's uh, missing uh, some pieces here, you can just add more photos, uh, take more photos of that piece, and then add them in there. And it should fill in those uh, missing parts. Let's go on. If you click here, we're uh, right here. Um, it'll go on and give you the option to load models. So if you click on that, it takes it just a few seconds. You'll see the whole model that it created from everything. There. So you can see, I tried to figure out where the table was um, and it got some of the background here in the back. But for the most part, it got uh, the model. Now at this point, we can go on and take this into a, a VR program or something like Blender and you can edit it. But uh, it may, if you're planning to do something else with this, it may be a little bit easier to uh, do a little bit, to clean up this model a little bit. And so we're gonna use, do that using a program called Mesh Mixer. So before we start editing the file in Mesh Mixer, Let's go on and uh, make a copy of it here. So let's go back to that folder that we just created uh, that has all our pictures in it. Um, this is the one, so this, if you look in here, this is the statue. That's the actual file that uh, contains uh, uh, some of the data for our project in uh, Meshroom. But if you look in here in the Meshroom cache folder, and then we are going to go into, texturing and it'll have just some sort of random uh, 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 name here. But if you go in, this is the actual object file that uh, Meshroom has created from these uh, pictures. Um, let's go on, we can just go on and copy this whole uh, folder here and do that. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put it here in our statue folder for right now. Oops, wrong one, sorry. Control fixed. There we go. And I'm just gonna give this a name right now. Uh, so we'll just name it like that. So I've already got a mesh model a little bit in Mesh Mixer. Go ahead and click that import button. We're going to go to uh, where we created that statue 3D and click on that object file. I'm going to hit open. So you can see that it actually captured parts of the room. So we're going to get rid of all those extra parts of the room. Select, select. And then we're going to pick uh, lasso. And we're just going to lasso around those pieces that we don't want. And then you can hit delete. To get this last little bit, we're going to rotate it around and then we're going to use a, uh, a, a slice selection. So select edit and then we're going to select transform. And we're just gonna rotate this guy around like so. And now we're gonna do plane cut. We still got a little bit of the floor there the table. So we're going to use lasso one more time. So now we're going to analyze. So so if we're you could take this and you can edit it more in Blender and stuff like that. 
but if you're going to print it out on a 3D printer, you would need it to be watertight. Sometimes when you're scanning, it may leave little holes. And so now we need to go back and fill in all those little holes that may be in this object. So we're going to go to Analyze. We're going to go to Inspector. This will also get rid of any other little floating pieces that may be around this object. So we're going to go on and do Auto Repair. And then select Done. And now you should have a finished object. So now you can take this guy and you can go on and say uh, File, Export. And we can export that back out as a whole bunch of different formats. You can pick whichever one that you need. Uh, if you're pulling this into AutoCAD, you may uh, do an S STL. Uh, the object files are pretty good for Blender. You can use either one of those if you are planning to do uh, 3D printing. Now we can go to Cura. So when you first import it in Cura, sometimes it'll come out really small. So you may have to look around for it. And there it is, right there. We're gonna go on and make that a little bit bigger. So you can see we've got our little statue there. Now, if you notice that parts of this are uh, maybe have uh, not quite as high detail as you want, you can actually go back and take more pictures and then you can uh, add those in and it may actually help this, uh, the detail come out a little bit better. So there you go. You can also upload scanned objects to websites like Google Poly. So our rotation's a little off, so I'm going to correct that real quick. Once you publish something, it's available on the web for people to look at. And then you can share this out just like you would a YouTube video, or you can embed it just like you would a YouTube video. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Have fun making your 3D objects.